Economic problems had gradually worsened in Britain in the early 1970s, uh, and certainly the retaliation of most Arab oil producing countries uh, to the Western countries uh, that had supported Israel materially during the Yom Kippur War of October 1973 uh, caused severe shortages of uh, petrol uh, and oil also in Britain and uh, there was talk of the so-called three-day week and after if I remember correctly a miners uh, trade union announced a strike uh, in early February 1974 Prime Minister Edward Heath had had enough he called a snap uh, parliamentary election for February the 28th 1974 under the slogan who rules Britain it was a divisive <clears throat> and indecisive election the number of seats in the House of Commons was raised to 635 the turnout was up sharply uh, to 78.8 percent while the Conservatives managed to narrowly win the popular vote with 37.9 percent or 11,872,000 votes, the Labourites were slightly luckier in the distribution of the votes with their 37.2 percent of the popular vote or 11,646,000. They managed to get 301 seats compared to the Conservatives 297 seats. And <clears throat> Jeremy Thorpe led the Liberals to uh, their best electoral performance uh, since the 1920s, if I remember correctly, with 19.3% of the popular vote. However, according to the, uh, the, the uh, minor, minor party uh, belittling effects of the first-past-the-post electoral system, the Liberals were only able to elect 14 members to the uh, House of Commons after a few days of uncertainty during which uh, Edward Heath tried to form a coalition with the Liberals. Uh, he decided to throw in the towel and tender his resignation and Harold Wilson returned to office as the new Prime Minister. <clears throat> 